FC Wimbledon are a football league club. Just nine years after forming, well, manager Terry Brown has paid tribute to the fans after beating Luton in the playoff final. And there was real drama as they did it with a penalty shootout. Well, after 120 goalless minutes, the game went spot kicks. Luton took the first, but Alex Lawless missed. Sam Hatton then scored Wimbledon's first penalty to make it 1-1, 1-0 rather. And Wimbledon missed the chance to go 3-2 when Kaid Mohamed missed. Well, the pressure was on and Jason Walker wasted the chance to put Luton ahead. Well, both teams scored before Danny Kedwell had the chance to put AFC Wimbledon into the Football League and that is exactly what he did. Well, that remarkably is their fifth promotion since 2002 when their first match was held in the Combined Counties League. The last photographs of him, apart from the you know the sort of the, the great goals in midweek, was him sort of dancing James around the tummy. pitch with the, no, well, with the you know with you know the classic picture with yeah. the sort of you know the FA yeah, Cup. Yes, no, exactly. You know, Henry, let's head. just let's just leave the money mad world of Premier League behind um, for a couple of moments and, and talk about Wimbledon. Um, you know, who were promoted back to the Football League um, yesterday. It's a, it's a fantastic romantic story. You know, um, formed in 2002, five promotions since then, you know. That to, to well, it's phenomenal. Back. And, it, you know, we all talk about money power at the top of the league, but this is fan power. Good people yeah. in the area refuse to let sort of, you know, the spirit, the crazy gang spirit, you know, the whole ethos of that club die. And yesterday, in a nail-biting way with a penalty shootout, was reward for them. And, you know, w we know what the fixture list is like and we, we know what the cup can be like. And it wouldn't surprise me if they got drawn against MK Dons in the first round of the Carling Cup. <laughs> yeah. And it also wouldn't surprise me if they invested judiciously mm. and, and had a, a, you know, another shot of promotion, which would be a formidable achievement, and then maybe played MK Dons next season, yeah. the season after. So I just think it's fantastic. And it just, you know, it's a lesson to everyone that, you know, good clubs with good spirited yeah. people around them just mm. won't die. Yes. You know, you have having for players on Wimbledon Common like, you know, nine years yeah. ago. And, and, and now, and don't forget, it's not easy. I mean, one, all the five promotions are fantastic, but this one in particular, it's not easy to get out of that league. There are some, some big teams in that Blue Square mm. Premier with big budgets. Now, I think Wimbledon's budget is quite decent, but the budget for, see, for example, the Crawley Town, who obviously mm. won the league, or Luton Town, you know, you're talking about a couple of million pounds in wages, so it's not easy. So what they've done is fantastic. We, we need the romantic stories, don't we? And we need we need the little clubs, if, 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 if they'll be uh, called well that. It, it's interesting. A lot of people well. were very interested in that game yesterday. A lot of people were following the score, and yeah. uh, a lot of sort of journalists who used to cover Wimbledon and mm. even Luton uh, were looking out for it. Uh, I, th I, I haven't known a playoff game. Of generate quite so much interest yeah. and it's going to be I mean it is going to be fun with Wimbledon back in the league and as, Hen as Henry was saying I can see them pushing on and trying to build from there because there's a lot of, it's a com it's a community club is it although they don't play their, com their community no, yeah. it, it, they're getting closer it is a community and club. I hope Luton get up next season because there's elements of that you know because yeah, that that, man, that was a club that, that, that could have died because yeah. of events that happened in yeah. the boardroom over the previous years but they're in good hands now but you know they will have to have cut packs Good, nice romantic stories, we love them. Just nine years after their formation, AFC Wimbledon have earned their place in the Football League. And for Terry Brown, it brings to an end a lifetime of uh, non-league management. And he admits uh, he's worried after all the euphoria of getting into the professional ranks that next season may prove to be a little disappointing. A nightmare, been there before and lost twice, so to actually get there, the, the, we've been practising for six weeks, Danny Kebble said he scored a winner and did, Seb Brown was magnificent in goal and we had that confident edge all day about us and uh, just delighted. Some of the managers in non-league football are absolutely brilliant and I've no doubt some of, the, some of the managers in the Football League are absolutely terrible I would think. So. Um, no, we go into it with a great club and a great chairman and that's what a manager needs and a great supporter base and we've got all of those things. Yeah, I'm a little bit, um, not worried, but, you know, we've been so looking forward to the Holy Grail being, you know, the Football League. I'm wondering if it's going to be a bit of a disappointment because I've loved my time in non-league football. I love the people I've met, the fans I've met and there's some top quality sides in the uh, Blue Square Conference and... 
yeah, I'm going to enjoy it and embrace it, yeah. What an incredible inch achievement. Now, there's more cricket. Next tonight, a success story which illustrates just how magical football can be and proves that sometimes loyalty and determination pays off. When the FA told Wimbledon fans their club was moving out of London and all the way to Milton Keynes, they were shocked and angry. This weekend, the club they formed in protest nearly a decade ago was promoted to the Football League. Sally Rourke on the rise and rise of AFC Wimbledon. What these fans lack in tune, they make up for in soul. And this is its source. And Wimbledon are down to one penalty kick to take them into the Football League. The fairy tale is complete. Today, back in work, but still on cloud nine, their fans in where else but Wimbledon. I see grown men cry for the first time for many, many years. And uh, all I can say is I haven't slept properly since. I've had two hours sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Best was, day of your life? Yeah, of course it was. Well, not being funny, it compares back to 1988. And this was 1988, FA Cup glory. That was two decades ago. This was two days ago. Two momentous occasions, but with so much in between. It was only nine years ago that Wimbledon FC defected to Milton Keynes and AFC Wimbledon was born. Now, if Saturday was precious, so too is this. It's Wimbledon's memorabilia tucked away in the Civic Centre here in Morden. Amongst it, a replica of the FA Cup. Now, with their first dream of getting back into the Football League complete, surely their next one is to be reunited with all of this and bring the football club back to the borough. And lucky for them, the leader of the council is right behind them. We need to be mindful of residents, but we have tweaked our plans for the borough to take into account a new football ground in the borough. And one of their 1988 heroes believes the move home could lead to another move up. If they can build a 15, 20,000 seat stadium, I've no doubt they can certainly um, get back to the championship. And, you know, if, if as Blackpool have proven with a little bit of luck on your side, then who knows, the Premier League is always available to you. Until then, these roof workers will carry on singing, rather appropriately, from the rooftops. Sally Rock, then and tonight, Wimbledon. Ivor Heller was one of the founding members of AFC Wimbledon and is now the club's commercial director. I'm very pleased to say he joins me now. Congratulations, first of all. I have to say, we've seen some fantastic playoffs this season, but promotion does not come sweeter than this, does it? No, I mean, Nina, it was just fantastic for us. Uh, just an unbelievable day, an unbelievable night before, unbelievable night after. And, uh, and I think most of us are feeling a bit bleary-eyed today, to tell the truth. I think that's perfectly acceptable. Now, it seems to me only yesterday <laughs> that we covered this story, that this had all happened. It was actually nine years ago, and OK, we've got this, the cliché of the fairy tale ending now. But it's been a hard few years for you guys, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, for, for those... Yes, yeah, I mean, it's been a hard nine years for us, but it's been very hard. It must be terrible for Luton with what they've gone through as well. I mean, shocking stuff, really. Mm. And um, we're just very grateful we've come out of it at the end and when we've got our rightful place back in the league. OK, you've got the rightful place back in the league. What about this controversial issue of rightful place back in the borough? Can you give us an exclusive? Where and when are you going to build a new stadium? Oh, well, I'm not going to exactly tell you where because we're working on that at the moment with the council and yeah, we've got cross-party support from the council. Everybody's right behind us uh, and that's been a, a lot of hard work gone into that. Um, uh, as far as when, I reckon, you know, in the next seven years, we've got a real chance that we could pull something off. And if we do that, then one half of the story is complete. Uh, the next half will be ready once we get ourselves back home, that's for sure. And this isn't just a story about football, is it? It's a story about tenacity, about determination, and instead of protesting and becoming bitter, doing something about it and getting back to where you want to be. 
Yeah, no, I mean, that's what this story is all about, really. The one thing that we did when we protested against the move to Milton Keynes, we did it the right way. We did it with dignity, we did it with passion, and we did it with some style too. And that won us an awful lot of friends, and, and that's gone a long way to helping us to create this football club. Yeah, when people come down to AFC Wimbledon, they get a real family atmosphere, a party atmosphere, and we're all there for the football and to have a good time. Um, and, and the passion's there as it is with any other club. Absolutely. You talk about friends. What about enemies? Would you relish some time in the future of fixture with MK Dons? It could happen. Anything could happen in nah. football. We've seen that. I'm sure now that you know, there's so many opportunities for us to be drawn against them um, in various cups and we'll probably catch them up or they'll miss us, they'll go down, we'll go up, something like that. I mean, you know, in all honesty, I don't reckon them as a proper football club. I hope we don't play them um, and I don't really wish them any good whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, with a bit of luck, we'll, we'll miss each other, they'll slip down, we'll go up. <laughs> End of story as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I've Ella, you know it's going to happen. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you. No, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.